We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. The Cougars have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's tackled at the 16. He had a lot of ground to cover there, and that meant the defense had a lot of time to catch up with him. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. Quick pass, and down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Takes the ball inside. Brought down at the 26-yard line. No That'll bring up third and four. He's hit and taken down. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about it as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was. And he made sure to get the route at least to that point. So when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Senior cornerback. Really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. He gets rid of this one. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 39-yard line, third down. It's knocked away incomplete. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass.
It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Steps out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. To review, to review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Go. I got you. Go. 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 Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. run to the outside. That brings him second and five. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. Signals for a fair catch. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far. Perfect. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just, just to dominate the game. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Second and two. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Gain of four on the play. That makes it first and ten. Watch his flat. Watch his flat. Watch his flat. Check 26. Got him, but he's going to lose yards here. their own 34 yard line second down they'll spread the field with five wide incomplete and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world well i don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that He's hit before he can go anywhere. I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. 
got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. We've played one. Now this one's scoreless. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. Mike 13, Mike 13. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. That's a team of four. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gonna be sacked for a loss. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. I just made it. They take him down immediately. He's going to air it long. No, incomplete. Number 34 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He goes out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Throw, incomplete pass. He takes it at the 12. Oh, man. He took him down hard. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedster. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 36 yard line. That brings him second and five. Let's go. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Go. Check, check. Disco Raver. 
Here comes the pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it 39. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 32. Three down, three down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Go. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Lost a score on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle around the 29-yard line. Number 30 makes the set goal at the 29-yard line. Team, Mike 13. That brings up second and one. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still playing soccer. Good open field tackle. Makes the reception. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Turn down. He steps out around the 38 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Throws this one away. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Didn't get all of that one. He drops it. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think the offense coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He's taken down at the six. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. And he's tackled at the four-yard line. Gets rid of it. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. The defense gotten some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Washington State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. 
Whoa, he just took a lick it. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. And his hands on it and dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver one. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number 27 makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. That makes it 37. Tackled around the 20-yard line. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. Three nothing, Cougars. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being, and we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but Great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Washington State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Takes the toss left. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He gets sacked on the play. That brings up third and 12. And they're coming after this punter. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Washington State has a three-point lead. Where in the world 
was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Once it all, going deep, incomplete. And they just couldn't connect there on the long ball. Boy, well, that's one the quarterback wants back. He just had a little too much on that pass. He's going to go for the home run. Doesn't get there. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's off the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on their own 38. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Roger, Roger! Mike 13, Mike 13! Watch the screen! Got a man open, bad pass. Number 81 on the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. It's away. Short punt. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Washington State is up by three. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 13, Mike 13. Throws into coverage, just picked off. He's at the 30, for the 20, the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. The play by the defender. That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Boise State, ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Under heavy pressure, and he can't get away from the pressure. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Set, 
Second and long. Ball of the 14. Steps out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. The Cougars have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Boise State is up four. He wants it all going long. And got him! And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 35. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Going right, intercepted. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 30. Now he's flushed and they got him. Damn, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. And he's hammered down. Things have really slowed down. Defense is doing a good job. Boy, what in the world has happened to this offense? They just can't get anything going. Where's the continuity? Where's the rhythm? They've got to try something different. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Number one on the tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it six and six. Mike 13, Mike 13. They hand it off. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it first and ten. Mike 13, Mike 13. He's coming, he's coming. Check him. He goes out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Mike 13, Mike 13. They'll bring him down at the 33. So 
So at the end of the third quarter, Boise State leads it 14-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. What a collision. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Coming to you, coming to you. Go, go. Santa 64. Fine, oh, big hit there to stop it. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Check, check, watch this go away. Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone and it just slipped right through his hands. Wow. He is really kicking himself after that one. From the 14 yard line, third down. And he throws it away. There before he stepped out of bounds. Game of two yards. That makes it first and goal. And he tackles him hard. The 13 yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the 13. And he's hit immediately. That makes it 30 goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Come up with a sack. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up. And he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 14-6, Boise State. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. This is not the type of game you'd expect to see from an experienced quarterback. Well, it's been amazing to watch this defense because they've done such a great job of applying pressure on the quarterback that they're definitely getting these turnovers. But it all starts with the pressure that they've been able to create consistently on this quarterback. And he doesn't have to do much more right now than take a snap and hand it off at this point. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's tackled. Ground 
the 35 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 35. Boise State holds an eight point advantage. Intercepted, and he's tackled at the 48-yard line. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Catches it, and he's punished. The seven-yard play. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Quick pass. He's pushed out of bounds. At about the 43-yard line. going right and he went way up and he's got the interception oh no they really didn't need that and as a quarterback you can't give up an interception late in the game you got to be more careful with the football from their own 23 yard line first down This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Almost intercepted. Have you ever heard of sportsmanship? You've got a huge lead and you're still throwing the football. Boy, this time is incomplete, which stops the clock. I'm going to start pulling for the defense to get back into this game. He wants it all. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. From the 15, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Washington State's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He steps out at the 32-yard line. Call the game of 10 yards. That'll make it second down. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. That's a DA four on that play. First down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Gain of six yards. Check three, check three. That brings him second and five. A little over a minute in the game. Spikes the ball. That'll make it 35. From their own 42 yard line. Third down. Mike's 13, Mike's 13. Go! Down, ACC 2. Caught and he's hit immediately. 
And this is what power football is all about, folks. Tries to get around the corner. Runs right for a nice game. Just throws this one away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Mike 13, Mike 13. Right down. Alert, alert, alert. Cat, cat, cat. He zips it out to the left. Fights him off, and now he has open field. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. He's coming, he's coming. Check him. Go. They don't get it. So that's an eight-play, 78-yard drive, and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out, and earn the yards. They just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 14 to 12. And he's taken down at the 44. Well, the defenses have certainly been the story in this one. Uh, the defenses are playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two. Instead of playing at a higher level, go down to the freshman level and give yourself a chance to execute a little bit better. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? Let's see who's got the most leadership. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Under a minute left. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for him. Seven yards. Third down. Let's go. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. And the ball game's over. The Broncos take this game 14 to 12. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.